Hello, welcome to Let's Play Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. This is your host, Bulbor Gaming, or Gaming Bulbor, but I go by both. Um, let's get started on another game I like. We are going to do a new game. Normal mode, because I don't want to see the gameplay ends. If you guys want to, then get this game. It's the better, well, it's a good game. Maybe not better than FF7, but I cannot get that to work, otherwise I would do it on that. Um, so you see in the profile of mine, but that doesn't matter. That was just me testing that this would work. Also, you may notice, we have game music. Yeah, I finally put the effort, and now we have it. So yeah, welcome to the intro. Now, unlike my Night of Lotus game, in, I will not be saying which episode it is. This is a continuous let's play of me recording, and I just don't want to burden myself. Like I burdened myself with in um, Night of Lotus. So, though I will try to space out the episodes accordingly, so you can keep up. Um, you're going to have to end up watching me, and just pay attention. Um, I will put in the title what episode occurs, just to make it convenient for you. However, beyond that, I can't help you. Again, I am not a professional at this game, I'm just decent at it. So, yeah. Let's get started. This is Magbell, another one of the fictitious continents of Fire Emblem. Yeah. So, this, of course, is based off darkness, and this is one of the few games where you get unlimited training, and grinding, and money. This is Reneus. That is the home of our hero and heroine. This is its ally, Aurelia. First, we have Johanna. This is another one of the many nations. This is Rostin, which is a theocracy, so I inherently hate it, because theocracies never went well in real life. Just look at Iran, but anyway. This is Grotto. I'm going to give you a hint, they would have red armor. If that's not enough to tell you what they are, then you're an idiot. So those are the Sacred Stone Nations. Carcino is the only republic. Go Carcino, you're awesome. All but evaporated. Keep that open, you'll learn something. 803, and guess what, Grotto does the unthinkable, they invade Reneus, yeah, if you guys didn't get there are enemy throughout the entire game, well, some of them are allies, of course. Yeah, so we get overrun. Ephraim goes missing, which is our hero. And Castle Reynes is attacked. 
so we're screwed. So our goal is to flee. In the prologue, the fall of Reneus. Let's get this done. Your Majesty, I bear bad news. The castle gate has been breached. Emperor Vigard's forces are within the castle walls. I understand, because our king's awesome. The garrison has fallen. We have lost contact with Prince Ephraim and can expect no aid from his men. Your Majesty, what are we to do? You are to die. Because Reneus is not gonna lay over and die. At least, not its king. What? I'm sorry, can you wait a second? Sorry about that. Phone call I had to deal with. Father. Erica, our heroine. Are you wearing the bracelet I gave you? Maybe. No, the answer is- oh, fine, it is, yes. Good. Seth. Yes, your majesty. Take Erica and head for Freya. King Hayden is an honorable man. I trust he will keep you safe. Understood. And what of your majesty? Me, I shall remain here. We have long held Grotto among our dearest allies. Yet now, they attack? I must know why. And am I somehow responsible for this? Have I erred in my leadership? Reneus is mine to guide. How could I have failed her so? Father, you can't stay. You mustn't. If you remain behind, then so shall I. My answer is no, Erica. You would die. Maybe. Okay, you would die. Seth, kidnap Erica. Ha ha. Take that. Okay, so here we go starting. We are surrounded by flux and dark, no, dark mages and summoners, I think. We have two generals, and the king versus great knight, paladin, and trouble door on both sides, along with, uh, general and something I can't ID. And then they died. Franz leaves us, and we cry. And it is... Some guy looking for the princess. It is, but you can't have her. Because then we wouldn't have a story. Walter, which has a dragon with fangs. Seth cannot hit. Well, he can, but it's unlikely. And he gets pwned. So, Seth, Erica, flee. Take that, Walter. Welcome to Tutorial Area 1. This will be our first introductory battle. Of course, Erica apologizes, but obviously she does not know she may have made just a grave error. And of course, Seth, in his knightly manner, says it's only a flesh wound.
The answer is no. Prince Ephraim. You guys will see how he is. But King Fado, he's dead. So we're about to go, but wait. Something's wrong. We get the rapier, Erica's exclusive weapon. We have Erica, pretty useless unit, except uh, we, if we manage to train her, she may be able to catch up. But with a strength of four, skill of eight, speed of nine, in defense of three, resistance of one. Eh, she could do a lot better. However, she has the rapier, which is awesome sauce weapon. Making giving her eleven attack. Isn't that amazing? Meanwhile, we have slow dudes. Very slow dudes. Except for this dude. O'Neill. You're Irish. And you're awesome in terms of speed and strength. Now, because they're your axe people and Erica needs experience more than Seth, and I'll show you why. Seth is a level one paladin. He's pre-promote. So he won't need the experience. He's only our fallback in case we're about to be over. Let us end our turn and see what becomes. First man attacking. He misses because he sucks at hitting. And Erica gets to practice her sword play. Erica gets some more sword play practice and criticals, killing him instantly. 42 experience. Wow, we managed to get the calculated meaning of life. That is early. I'm in good spirits. Another miss. From the people who cannot hit the broadside of a barn. Erica now has 75 experience. Now we get to hear this heroic music to represent that we're awesome. Seth. Hey, in my defense. Oh, F you. Eh, you would survive as long as you use your steel sword. Oh, 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 sword. Yeah. I want you to wait. Here we go. Now, he foolishly thinks he can attack me. So, he says I will be the first to die. I feel honored. He misses! Because, of course, he is an NPC, and therefore is doomed to failure. We shall simply just end the turn, because I don't want to give him the advantage. He misses again, and we attack again. We're that close, people. Three experience. So, we'll have Erica finish this villain off and move on to chapter one. And if you want to know, O'Neill, it's because you aren't important. Except the fact that you're Irish, that's pretty awesome. We get skill, luck, and s resistance, and HP. The HP is nice. I would have preferred strength and speed, but the skill is nice too. And luck always catches up. Seth is worried about Erica, but fry not. We are done with our first mission. And she just realized we're in a war. Lion. The answer is yes. Strength is all that matters. I can't tell you that because it's spoilers. Good. We can't have you crying. Because if 